Okay, it's time for another nickel hunt. Well, gonna crack into this box and see if it is um, circulated and we can hunt it. Hopefully we can. And then what we'll do is check the albums afterwards. Let's see if we have any thing to put in there. Oh, let's give it a little bit more of a cut there. Oh. This one is being difficult. Ooh, we got a circulated box. Looks like we got a good circulated nickel box. So we're gonna have a fun nickel hunt. Hopefully find some really cool stuff in here. Well, let's get into this and see what we can find. Intro, take 473. Cue music. Cue coins. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Now pick them up. I'm not rich. Okay, we're on roll number seven. I've come across the 1954 here. And I was looking, there's a couple back here that may also be older, but let's look at this one first. 1954 from a Denver. Nice. We'll put that up here. And since we're here, let's go ahead and look at the, this one and this one I was looking at. That may be. Let's start here in the back. 1966. It does have that older look to it, but it is not quite old enough. So this one may or may not be. Where is it? Should have done this first one first. Let's see. Right here. Let's check this one out. This one is, a, oh, 1939. Very nice. 1939 from Philly. Now you can find a really one of the best um, double dial reverses on the 1939 Philly and we should be able to see it in the camera. If this was it, I don't see it. I'll be double checking that though, but cool. It's a 1939 and a 1954. There could be some others in here, but uh, I'll just go through the rest and find out, see what else we have in here. I'm on to roll 11 and I've got a 1957 here. This one has some dirty spots on it, but it is still an old nickel. This one is from Denver. Cool, that's another old nickel find. We're gonna toss it up here. I just dumped out roll number 13, and back here, right here, we've got one that has an older look to it. So let's slide this over. And it just has that older look, and it is a 1942 with, ooh, some really nasty pit marks on there. Let's see, ooh, on the reverse as well. This one is a Denver. It's like somebody Smacked on that with something. 1942 out of Denver. Not a silver. You get silver from those years, but that is not a silver. Still, nice old nickel. Roll number 14, and I think we have an old nickel back here. Let's see. I was going through, I flattened it out. This one has an old look. It might be a buffalo. Um, that one might be an older one too, but let's take... Oh, look at this. It is an old one, but it's not a buffalo. That is a V nickel. That is a 1903 V nickel. That is before Buffalo nickels were the Liberty Head V nickels. Very cool. Awesome. That is really nice to find an old, old nickel in a hunt. Roll number 16. I think we have another old find here. We got a rear face and mint mark. Uh, the Denver Mint mark there. Let's take a look. Ooh, it's a 1941. Nice. It's got some old stuff in this roll. Roll number 18, and we have a old nickel that is pretty tore up. This one is pretty gnarly. Looks like it's been uh, playing with the road a little too much there. I don't see a mint mark. I flipped it over because of how damaged it was, I couldn't really tell what was going on. And it looks like it's a 1939 there. Yeah, that's what it looks like. 1939, it's, it's still an old nickel, even if it is damaged, very damaged, but still counts as a cool find. Roll 24, and that one that here that looks older, doesn't have a rear face and mint mark, but I figured let's take a look at it. It looks like the lettering up top is a little weak maybe around the whole coin but let's see 
1954. Nice. That's another old nickel there. Uh, second 54, it looks like. Getting towards the back of roll uh, 15 here. Um, right here, I've got a 1959. Saw the date sticking out as I was working my way back. This one is a Denver. Nice. Awesome. Boom. Roll number 29. And we got a 1952 here. 1952 from Philly. Cool. It's another fine. Roll 31. Just poured it out. And we got a 1959 here. It's all the date sticking there. And this one is a Denver. Cool. That is another fine to go up here. Roll number 34. And we got a foreign here. This is a 1980. Um, 1FR Belgi? Is that uh, Belgium? Alright, so I looked this up real quick. This is a 1 franc from Belgium. Yep, 1980 franc from Belgium. Very cool. Very cool find. Back towards the end of roll number 35. Got this 1948 here. This has some surface discoloration. Um, this might have spent some time in the ground by the looks of it. So it has got some of that environmental damage. This one is from Denver. Cool. It's still a 1948. And that is a find. I think it goes in there somewhere. Very cool. Roll number 36 here. Come across a 1940. Nice, that's another old nickel. This one is from Philly. Pretty cool. I think that fits into there. Roll number 40. I've come across the 1958 here. 1958 out of Denver. Cool. Let's toss that up here. I think it fits in between those two. We're on to roll 43. I've got an interesting find here. If you look, you can see the obverse of this coin is uh, was struck off center here. Although this is not an off center coin, you can see where the um, date is kind of uh, disappearing into the rim and where the rim is uh, really wide up here. Now the reverse, if you look at the reverse, it is perfectly centered. So this would be a misaligned die, where one of the dies was uh, not lined up perfectly with the other. Um, and this one is more of a moderate one. I've seen some more extreme than this, but this is getting to the point where it is a stream. Unfortunately, this coin is pretty nasty and dinged up and stuff, so there might not be much value in this and its condition. Uh, misaligned coins don't really hold a whole lot of value. Some people do collect them and collect a, a date set of them. Um, but they are quite minor. It's when they get to be more extreme is where they get the value at. Um, either way, it's pretty neat and interesting find. So I figured let's share it and we'll go from there. Getting towards the end of roll. Uh, 43 here. I've got a really dinged up and damaged coin, but this one looks like it's a 1954. This one is gnarly and has been really beat up on the road, or yeah, it would have to be the road at this, uh, this damaged how it's looking here. But that looks like it's a 1954 there. Even though it's pretty damaged, I had to pick it up and take a good look at it and see if, is that what I'm seeing? Still an old coin, even though it's damaged, so we're going to put it up here. Roll 45, and a few coins in from the end here. I have a 1948. This one is a Philly. Nice. It's another find there to go up here. Roll number 50. Final roll, and I've got what may be the final find here. None of the other coins look like they might be a find. This one has that older look to it. Um, doesn't have a mint mark, but I figured let's flip it and see what we got here. Is this a find or not? 1941. All right. 1941 out of Philly. Very cool. All right. Time to wrap up here. Um, lots of cool finds. 
The best find, however, is this 1903 V nickel. It has been a, I've only ever found three of these, I believe. So that is cool. This coin is 121 years old. Just imagine the history this coin has been through and seen World War One, World War II. Um, where has it been? Who had, who's, had, who's held this coin? What's it been used for? Just all kinds of history this coin has lived through. Very cool. Very cool to find, find a V-nickel in a roll. I, again, I don't come across those very often at all. Um, two from the 30s, uh, both 39s. Uh, six... Yeah, six from the 40s, eight from the 50s, then two 2009s. These are, uh, the 2009 was the was the lower mintage, one of the lowest mintages in modern, in the modern nickel history. Um, I'd have to look up dates and mintages to give you a detail on that. Um, then we had the 1981 franc from Belgium. That's a neat little find there. And then this find is just a fun, interesting find here. This is the misaligned obverse die. So the obverse die was misaligned. You got a big old huge rim over here. And then the date and devices and stuff are pushed off the edge of the rim down here because it was misaligned. The reverse is centered. If the reverse was misaligned as well, that would be an off center strike. But because only one side, is off-centered or misaligned. It is a misaligned die, uh, off, obverse misaligned die, if I get it right. Okay, so that's what we got for the finds. I have only four nickels over here that are nice, nicer here to check against the albums. Nothing special or fancy. A lot of these nickels in this box were just pretty trashed as it was. So, <laughs> um, I'll check these out against the album and we'll be back and let you know uh, if there are any additions or upgrades there. For book number one, unfortunately, this 1942 that has the damage on it out of Denver will be filling a spot for now. Uh, 14 million is a lower mintage, um, not quite semi key date area, but pretty close. So it is a harder to find one. We will be filling that spot in this book. Hopefully we'll find a nicer one at some point soon. For book number two, we've got two coins for upgrade. 1992 out of Denver. This one's just slightly better, nicer shape, um, cleaner. I'm gonna upgrade that one. And then we got a pretty nice 1984 out of Denver here. That is just much better than the ones in there. Very nice upgrade. And then there we have it for the albums. One spot filled and two upgrades. Um, it was a fun hunt overall. Had some really cool finds. And a couple of additions for the album is, is always a good thing as well. So overall, good hunt. And uh, lots of awesome finds here. Alright, well I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that thumbs up. Helps me out. Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you thought. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Have a great day. And I want to give a very special thank you to all the viewers who have signed up as members. Thank you very much for going above and beyond to help support the channel. I very, very much appreciate it. If anyone is interested in becoming a member, feel free to check out the link below. Again, thank you very much for your support.